Good morning guys from the first official full day here in Amman, Jordan. I am leaving the hotel room that I stayed in for night number one and my buddy Harry, who I don't think you guys have seen in any YouTube videos yet except maybe if you watched my videos all the way back in Dubai earlier this year. And Harry just flew in from the UK, United Kingdom, and uh, he's arriving to the hotel right now. So we're about to see him for the first time in many months. Let's go. Hey, there he is. What's good, my guy? <laughs> How we doing, bro? You made it. <laughs> What's up, brother? Good to see you. Good to see you. Welcome to Jordan. Salam alaikum. Kifa khaye. Mashallah, ain't Perfect. I know, bro. It's getting better, right? <laughs> All right, guys. So we got uh, Harry here. He's arrived to Amman, Jordan. He's uh, probably feeling a little bit tired, though, after a solid 12-hour cruise. Yeah. So you ready for this bro? It's gonna be a big one. Yeah man, I think uh, we're just gonna power on. I've had two hours sleep, but I'm just gonna grab a coffee and get on with it. Hell yeah, it's gonna be great. We're ready for it. We got a lot of adventures coming for you guys. And uh, first thing is we're gonna head to a different place. One of my buddies actually recommended to stay at this hostel called the Wanderers Hostel. And so first thing was to check to see if there was Uber, because usually I try and take Uber or Karim or some like sort of app whenever I travel to any cities because you get the most honest prices because it comes from a system rather than a person. Good news is it's a, an eight minute drive away and it'll cost about one to two Jordanian dinar, which is like maybe a dollar fifty to three US dollars, maybe a little bit less than that. So a pretty good price, much better price than the, the 30 minute taxi ride from uh, the airport yesterday, which was about 30 US dollars. So it looks like we'll be able to do that. And also something you guys might find interesting is they have UberX hourly, which means you can pay 7.5 Jordanian dinar, which is about 10 bucks an hour. So you have a driver just kind of hang out and take you wherever. So it's a nice little option they have there. So y'all, let's go. All right, looks like we got our guy three minutes away. Akia with Mohaned. Uh, oh, that's our guy. Mohaned. Salam alaikum, Mohaned. All right, bro, let's get it. Salam alaikum, Mohaned. All right, so we've got about an eight minute cruise over, and this is going to be my first time seeing Jordan during the daylight, so. I'm really excited to see this place. We're gonna stop in, check in at the uh, hostel, maybe do a quick tour, show you guys the place. Then after that, we'll start exploring the city, show you guys what the first impressions are gonna be. Hopefully we got uh, Harry staying alive for the day. He's running on two hours of sleep, so. I'll be fine, I'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, exactly, he'll be ready for it. Yeah, it looks like we're seeing a familiar company here. They have uh, Amazon, maybe a Jordanian headquarters. So we've even got uh, local school buses here. You can see another one passing here. They look just like the ones in the U.S. with a more of a Middle Eastern style to them. And it looks like that's public transport. Overall, yeah, it's a uh, very modern place. Just cruising through the streets here. Everything from the uh, the designs of the buildings to the layouts of you know the trees along the side of the roads here. Honestly, I didn't really know what to expect, though. Like I said, I didn't do any research on this place in advance. I was kind of just imagining a bit different. But like every single place I've ever been, it's never like what I imagined it to be. That's why I always get so inspired to travel is because <laughs> things are just never as like what you kind of imagine. And uh, here's another example of it. We're almost to the hostel, so I'll see you guys once we get there. All right, shukran, khaye. We have arrived to the hostel here. Looks like that's it right up here. We're arriving with no reservations, so we're just gonna hope that they have some available beds here. And uh, we shall find out. So Harry hasn't been in a hostel since what, Thailand? Yeah. Over a year ago. Over a year, yeah. What about you? I actually think that I was in a hostel, when was I? Maybe, actually not in Egypt, not in Dubai, not in Portugal. Actually, it's probably been since New pre, Zealand. Pre yeah, yeah, pre-pandemic, yeah, wow. Way back in the day. So this is the place? Villa yeah. Guest House? Villa Dia? Is that it? No, it's definitely not it. Cool. Yeah. Ah, there it is, yeah, yeah, all right, sweet. So we've got the uh, Hostel Wanderers. That's the sign for it. And then we have a different name up here called Villa Dia. All right. Oh, do we come in over here? Yeah, uh, you, you oh, there's a secret passageway. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. How's it going? It's good, and you? Ah, oh, very good, very good. Yeah. Ah. Hello, Hello, thank you. How are you? Good, how are you guys? Uh, very good. <laughs> We're hoping you. that you can uh, hook us up with some rooms here. Oh, okay. Is there any space? For two? Yeah. yeah. No reservations, just showing up. <laughs> yeah, we only have one room. Oh, actually, 
How many knights do you need? Uh, what do you think? Two for now? Two would be great, yeah. yeah. I could do one happen. One, like, one's that one, 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 uh, one knight. Alright. We'll start right with thing. that and then figure it out. Yeah, maybe someone like cancels or something yeah. until tomorrow. Sweet. Alright, okay. well we got one night, guys. Um, here's the common area. Oh, sweet. Free to, yeah. Make Hello. Make new friends. Sweet, nice. sweet. Our sharing board, if you guys want to go on any trips and look for people, like oh, houses, nice. maintainers. Oh, sweet. Feel free to just look at up our add something if you want to. Awesome, awesome. Be okay with that scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah Shanine's hooking it up. She got us a, a, a night here, so we're yes. doing a little tour from her now. And uh, this is the hostel, guys. So we're gonna do a, a tour. Harry and I are staying in separate spots, and we have one night. Hopefully, we'll turn it into two if someone cancels. But uh, at least we got one night here. So yeah, it's great. Yeah. Oh, this is pretty cool. So here's the uh, the setting of the hostel. Seems like a comfortable place and uh, a lot of cool things all over here. That's going to be Harry's room over there. Right down the hallway is where I'm staying here. We've got Matt, who's uh, my roommate here. Yeah. Also a YouTuber and uh, travel sidekick. Yes, that's yep, it. Yep, that's so de channel. yeah, definitely check him out. And uh, we're going to be roommates here. So this is the accommodation we've got. A uh, nice size, like a uh, full size bed here. I actually haven't gone up here yet, so let's check out the uh, comfiness. All right. Oh, oh yeah, here we go, a little, little hard, but uh, gets the job done. Yeah, is this place full with other people too? Yeah, I guess it must be, because they told us that uh, they only had one night available. Really, that one looks empty, that one. I yeah, know about that. some of these, yeah. This is the place, it's great to be in a hostel though. Like Harry and I were talking about before we arrived, this is the first time I've stayed in a hostel since before the pandemic. I think the, probably the last time was when I was in New Zealand quite a bit uh, of time ago. So that is the place we're gonna go ahead and get cleaned up and then we're going to head into Oman and show you guys our first impressions of exploring this place. So guys, I will say it's great being back in a hostel because within the first 10 minutes, we already made some new friends here. You guys already met Matt before and we have uh, Kieran here from the UK and uh, you know Harry already. So we're heading down to the downtown area to kind of walk around, explore it and see what we kind of get ourselves into for our first full day here. Is it your first full day to, here no, too? No, 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 on the way out, on the way out. Uh, on the way out, yeah, all right, yeah. all right. But it's Matt's uh, first day, just arrived yeah. a couple hours ago. I'm excited to see this place. So we're gonna walk down, how far is it from the uh, hostel to get there? Like three minutes, five minutes. Sweet, so we will see you guys once we get down there. We're cruising through the neighborhoods here. It's a uh, pretty nice day, probably perfect temperature to be walking around Jordan. And Harry and I found out right when we arrived that actually right now it's high season, which makes sense because, uh, you know, walking around this place in the bloody hot weather is uh, a bit more challenging than right now in the perfect fall weather. Feels quite safe here overall though. So we're arriving into the uh, downtown area now and it seems like very quickly we're going to start seeing a lot of shops here. Markets, things like that. Get yourself some electronics, some traditional clothing here and get a taste for what this place has. Look what we got going on here. We've got some sort of, I'm guessing this has got to be like a famous staircase here, yeah? Got umbrellas, we've got some uh, nice designs up here and a lot of people hanging out, so. And it seems like everyone kind of signs the walls right up there. Good spot for photos. Maybe I'll have to grab one. All right, we've got all types of shops here. Looks like this is a uh, spices shop over here. Salam alaikum. Yeah, you got good stuff in here. What do, what do we got? Oh, it smells very nice. I'll get many what? What was that? Many girls. Many girls here. Oh, all right. Well, what kind of business are you running here, my guy? <laughs> right, we've got a nice presentation of this. We've got all the spices basically lined up like pyramids in here. So let's get a quick little update what you got going on in the shop. Let me tell you what you have here. This is cinnamon. Cinnamon, oh yeah. Cajun. Wow, so we've got everything then. Yeah. You can come here and make like a thousand Dried different types fruits. of food. Dried fruits here. Oh, you guys got a little bit of everything, yeah, huh? Pineapple. Yeah. We have uh, strawberry. We have and you got the mate glasses right there, I see. Oh man. Yeah, yeah that's funny. the good stuff. Zatar. Yeah. Zatar, I love Zatar. Yeah, yeah I make manushas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Manusha Zatar or Zibne. With Zibne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was sweet. Hi, merci. Shukran. Thank you so much. Well, we got a nice presentation of the good stuff they've got here. So it's right down here in this area. We got some nice jewelry over here. Yeah. Good stuff here, bro. How are you? Hey, shukran. Mashal uh, uh, How are you, guys? Hey, yeah, good, good. You too, hey. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta make it One Jordan. Video? Uh, inshallah one day. Just look, uh, just look at yeah. two, just look at two. What do you got going on here? 
And what does that say? This warde. is Warde, my mom. It's a, uh, ah, it's very nice. It's a new one. Warde, yeah, my mom Warde. It's a, uh, red uh, English rose. rose. Ah, rose. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yes, it's for mom. Mac. And your name? My name is Hassan. 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 Hassan, America. Hassan, Hassan. Hassan. Ah, there we go. We got it. Hassan. Do you have a. Uh, hey, Habibi. Thank you, Habibi. Hey, Hassan Habibi. Hi, Habibi. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Hey, Shubro. Let's talk about Shubro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I speak a little Lebanese Arabic. Shubro. Shubro. Yeah. Shubro. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Shubro. Shubro. What? Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yes. So, you, you have. Uh, I'm looking for a specific type of ring. Uh, do you have one with a globe? Like uh, the world? You see, like uh, right here, I've got the globe. Yes. What is it? Uh, Roman numerals. Yes. Yeah, but I need something with a globe, like the world. Globe. Uh, the globe. See? World. Yeah. Yeah, you got that, Hassan? It's beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Hi. This gold or the gold plated? Oh, yeah, from, from Cairo. Yes. Yeah, yeah. A uh, friend or uh, yeah, yeah, friends. Yeah, friends. Our friends. Our friends. Our friends. Yes, this YouTube. Yeah, yeah, we got like, YouTube browser. Subscribe. Yeah, 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 you heard it. Like and subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> Notifications on. Don't forget that part. <laughs> yeah, you guys are great. Nice to meet you, Hassan. Habibi. Habibi. Nice to meet you. Habibi, Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Welcome. Thank you. Shu Habibi. Shu Habibi. Shu Habibi. Shu Habibi. Ish Kbir. Ish Kbir. Ish. Ish Kbir. Ish Kbir. What does that mean? What's your post? Who's the post? Shu Akbarak. No, no. No. Ish Kbir. Ish Kbir. Yeah, America. What's your post? What's your post? Shu Akbarak Reyes. How about that? Boss, 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 boss. Yeah, yeah, boss. But it's like Reyes, right? Yeah. We've got some traditional headscarves here. Yeah. You got a special price for me on that one or what? Yeah. You got to teach me how to wrap this thing and wear it, yeah? Oh, here we go. All right. And we're putting her on the head right now, too. All right, here we go, guys. Yeah. No turning back now. From where? Uh, the United States. Yeah, United. Manchester? Uh, what? Manchester United, yeah? Uh, no, 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 United States, not Manchester United. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's it. Well, Manchester United? Yeah. <laughs> This feels like an expensive one. It feels very high quality. All right, how, how are we looking? Past the, right. past the test? You think I'm Jordanian, huh? Yeah, yeah, what's going on? Hey, Salaam alaikum, Habibi. All right, so how are we looking? You got a, we got a mirror somewhere here? All right, all right. And, yeah, all right, one minute. Oh, there we go. Oh. There, oh, that is nice, that is nice. I'd say this passes the test pretty nicely, guys. Yeah, and uh, the, the question is, do we have a, a special price for me? Mm. Your foreign friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many pieces? Oh, uh, just one. Just one. Okay. Welcome to Jordan, Mister. Thank you. Thank you. Shukran. We gotta talk price now here, boss. Uh, Reis uh, Shuak Barak. This different. This uh, this small toy. Ah yeah. yeah. This big toy and this scooter and this handmade. Oh yeah. It's, ah, you put the expensive one. I could feel it. No, no, not expensive. This seventy. 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 And this five. I, I could uh, I could walk away with five. How many? Just one? Uh, just one to start off, and then we test it out. Maybe we come back for another one later. Sixty, okay. Five, five, okay. Okay, five. All right. So we're uh, getting hooked up. We got five here. Do we have five? Yeah, this is five. That is a five. All right. Uh, you need ten. I have no problem. I think we're all set. Okay. All right. So we're looking good, ready to go then. Now I'm Jordanian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Same, same, the King of Jordan. Yeah, the King of Jordan. Yeah. So they call me Ray. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Bye. All right. So this is the uh, the new fit. Paid five uh, Jordanian dinar, which I'd say is like seven dollars roughly. And uh, this will be good as we explore more of Jordan to have this. And we are walking more into the markets here. It seems like there is an everlasting amount of stores you can shop and explore over here. So you can literally find anything you ever wanted here. We've got some. Uh, Toys here cruising around. Yeah, markets pretty much every single direction. Oh, this looks kind of nice. Some sort of like bear skin. Ah, that is nice. Ah, here we go. We got a bunch of guns you can buy here. Toy guns, whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'm really liking Jordan already. People are very friendly, a lot going on, a lot of vibrant life during the day. Pretty well priced overall, you know? I probably could have bargained for this a bit more, but I was happy paying it. He gave me the higher quality handmade one, so it does the trick. All right, so we're looking at a gold and silver bazaar over here. 
Oh, wow. These are always so shiny. Beautiful options here. I'm looking for a silver one because I want to basically change out this bracelet to have some silver connecting up. So, oh, there's a silver shop. A nice looking one here. We'll see how much it costs though. All right. Salam alaikum, Kaye, Kifak. Let's see if our guy can hook us up with a good deal. Looks like we've got some bracelet options right up here. Yeah, probably something like one of these. As long as it's real silver, it's gonna do the trick. Well, I guess the guy's not getting off the phone, so we'll uh, take the business somewhere else. So Kieran knows there's uh, another silver shop up here. He knows this place pretty well already. Yeah, I've done a bit of walking, man. Done a bit of walking. Yeah. Just down this way, yeah? Yeah. All right, let's, let's check this out. Looks like a bigger shop too. We'll see if they're uh, available to help me find where I need. Oh, and they have the machine stuff there. So if I need anything customized. Hey, salam alaikum. Kifa khaye. I need a, uh, a bracelet to connect the tree. Mm. Bracelet? Something like this. Hey, hey, similar? Yes. Is it possible to get one of those bracelets and then connect the tree. You would cut this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, Something that's as similar to this as possible, Egyptian silver. Yes. I have like this one. And these are silver, so they won't yes, turn silver. green. No, and... no, no. Yeah, that's, that's nice. How much for this? It's like 15 JD. 15 JD? Yes. All right. And uh, you'll be able to connect it for me? Yeah. Oh. Habibi, y'all, let's do it. I figured, guys, it's time to make my Lebanon bracelet a bit more permanent and match with the rest of my jewelry. It's like the only souvenirs I usually ever buy, so he's gonna help us get it converted. What's your name? Filas. Filas the man. Jordanian from uh, Amman? Yes, from Amman. It's a very Zayn city. Yes. And here we go, we're getting it uh, sliced up there, saying bye to the cloth bracelet. It's finally about time. That's good. And can we make like the total length the same, same length as that? Because that one, that one fits my wrist perfect. Oh, I'm excited. I've been trying to do this for a while. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet. Um, More smaller meat? Yeah, a little smaller. And then you can even chop off the extra. Here we go. We're getting the, uh, the final look going. There it is. Oh, yeah. We're back in business. That is great. That is great. Shukran Chaye. 15 here is the... Uh, Thank you. Oh yeah, I swapped out. This used to be string, and uh, now oh, I got nice. silver. Is that the? Is that from Lebanon? Yeah, yeah, the oh, Lebanon nice. tree. See you next time. Yeah. All right, I am very happy, guys. So I've been literally trying to do this for a couple weeks now. I was walking around when I was just in Lebanon, and could not find a place that had the matching silver bracelet for this arm. Jordan, you're already making me very happy. Hello, hello. Welcome. Kifak, Kif Khan. Meshel Hal. What do you guys got going on here? Good stuff? Good stuff. Yeah. Three floors. Oh, three floors. Oh. What's your best item? All right, just one look? All right, we'll, we'll take a quick look here. You got a lot of uh, lot of gold items in here. Bracelets, lamps. Wow. Salam alaikum, khaye. Uh, shukran, shukran, my friend. Should we get some daggers here, bro? Uh, also, we can engrave any name or something. Yeah. We have nice engraving. Nice uh, upstairs. Knives. Knives. Oh, knives upstairs. Knives upstairs. <laughs> upstairs. All right, sweet. That's going to get us in some trouble, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. come. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice. We've got some canes here. This is a Reyes cane, the boss. Okay, sometimes I wish that uh, I had a home somewhere in the world because then I could get one of these super cool teapots. I would love to drink tea out of these, like, super shiny uh, teapots. It's just such a cool feel to it. Kellogg's Oak, Shukran. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we'll come back, yeah? All right, all right. What type of discounts you got here? Wow, what, 70%? Yes, good. Yeah, good. Zane price? Yeah. And what do you have here, jackets? Yeah, jacket, how, how, t-shirt, jeans. And how much are the jackets? Jacket, yeah. 50. 50. 50. 20. 20. Whoa, whoa. So that's, that's, not the, that's not the discounted price. 20 GD, 30 dollars. Oh, whoa. Yeah, think, good. think I'm made out of money? Yeah. Oh, that's expensive, Kaye. Look at 
I need, I need a better deal. One minute, don't move your main. Maybe we'll something. come back here. Looks okay, like you got I'm nice stuff. Okay, I'm waiting scrub. for you, man. All right, Habibi. I'm happy to see you. Shufak. Shufak, hey. I will say, uh, I love going to places where people really enjoy being on camera and like, literally in the last 24 hours, or I haven't been here 24 hours, but like 20 hours or so, everyone that I filmed just absolutely loves it. They uh, enjoy being on camera, enjoy talking in front of it. So I had heard before I arrived, I probably said this like three times already, that the people in Jordan are so friendly and so welcoming. And that's a fact. They're very low key in terms of like their selling tactics. Like some countries I've been to, you have like very intense uh, salespeople. Here they're chill. They invite you in. If you say no, you kind of just keep walking and everyone's kind of, you know, just low key. It's a bustling afternoon though. You got a mix of your downtown and you have all of your older places. Like that looks like some sort of coliseum. Or not coliseum, some sort of uh, arena. You got some, uh, getting some good photos over here. Oh, this is... A little dankery, bakery. Yeah, we'll have to stop there then. We're doing the Middle Eastern crosswalk. Hello, thank you. I feel like people must cross at crosswalks here comparatively. Oh, they don't. All right, all right. Well, you just you just walk whenever you want, right? Don't trust the crosswalk. Yeah, I don't trust the crosswalk. Good point. Well, we're arriving into the uh, ruins here. This looks pretty sweet. Do we just walk right in here? Yeah, all right, we're in. Jordan Pass, hey. Straight to the door. Straight to the door, perfect. So once again, guys, I mentioned that in the last video. If you have the Jordan Pass, you have to get it before you come to Jordan. I expressed that, because these guys are going to probably get the Jordan Pass, but they got it after. Or did you end up getting the Jordan Pass? I wouldn't have known, literally. I only found out about the Jordan Pass two hours before my flight. My friend Sophia had mentioned it to me, and she was like, make sure you buy this, it waves your visa fee. And thank God I got it just in time. Yeah, we stumbled upon these ruins and the guys like Jordan Pass and we we're like, yeah, yeah, for me, I was like, yeah, yeah. So another place that gets us in to get that value out of it. Definitely recommend it. All right, we got Jordan Pass right. Oh. Shukran. And I just walk in. So we are entering into the ruins here. Yep, thank you. All right. And this is it. This is a very old and beautiful place. Harry's working on a little bargain over here. No, you, Special deal or what? Top secret apparently. Ah, top secret. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah. yeah right. Top secret, give me. No top secret, free. Ah, so it's special price then. One, two, three, four. Not ten dinar, ten dinar, ten dinar. Five, five. Oh, five, five. Ten, ten dinar. No, no, no. Whoa. Five. Five, five, oh. five, five. Oh, I'm gonna do a quick walk around and maybe we come back. Hi. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Mohammed. Yeah. True Fog Mohammed. Pretty expensive. Jordan Pass doesn't cover the uh, the custom custom tour there. This place is in stunning condition though for being so old. Although it would be kind of nice to have a tour right now because we kind of just stumbled upon it. We have no idea what's going on in this place or what it has to do with. But it's actually like very cool in here compared to outside in the city. I think probably because of the stone. The stone keeps it much colder. And here's the uh, the chair. How we looking, bro? Looking like an old Jordanian? Crazy to the top. Yeah, yalla, bro. A <laughs> Govan style. Oh, this is Mm-hmm. All right, here we go. We're gonna climb up. It's pretty steep, actually, as you can see here. We got Harry leading the way. Hey, uh, Keith Khan. Meshel Hal. Wow, look at how steep this gets right here. It's almost like straight up. Oh, oh. Definitely gonna be a good workout today. After eating last night's shawarma. Leg day today. Oh yeah, leg day today, baby. Leg day today, let's get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now we can see the Coliseum. Hello! You can see up there, that's the Citadel up top. So they really had such a nice layout to this place. Guys, so if you come to like right up here, it's a great spot to get a little uh, photo here for the gram in case you need any ideas. Got that one just looking down in there. The nice part is it gives the views of down here along with the Citadel as I was just showing you. So you can climb a little bit further and that'll get us all the way up to the top. Let's do it. Let's do it? Yalla. Oh yeah, we're getting we're getting steeper though, that's for sure. Oh, looks like we're making our own custom pathway to get up here. Here, we found the stairs again, getting that workout in. Yeah, they definitely had legs of steel back in the day. That's for sure. And we are at the top. Oh yeah. See, back in the day when there was an event going on here, this is where I'd be hanging out. Incredible. 
All right, so I'm gonna ask Matt, what are two facts you know about this place, bro? So this amphitheater holds 6,000 people. And what that means in the Roman Empire, they built the amphitheaters to hold 10% of the population. So that means there are 60,000 people here in what was then known Philadelphia. Oh, this place used to be Philly, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And what else have you learned about this place, bro? I'm curious, that's a good fact. So, this was built in the second century. Yeah. So, just standing in the very same place where, you know, that's so long ago. Yeah, yeah. Like, How many years ago, like 2000 yeah, or more? almost. Oof. Second yeah. century would be about 100 to 200. Wow, wow. So, so you're 1900 years. Wow, so long ago. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. And like, you can just see how well preserved it still is. I mean, you just look at this place and Honestly, you could open it up for business again, but you got to keep in mind if you're going to be working here You're going to be getting a good workout every single day climbing up right. to the top and then back down Matt was also telling me the acoustics here are very good So yes. when people are talking down at like the bottom they can hear up here like pretty easily, right? Yeah, I mean back in the day they didn't have any sound systems So yeah, when yeah. you're down there and you just speak like we are now you could hear it all over the amphitheater They were designed that way. They, they were genius in the way they designed their amphitheaters. Oh, that's incredible. Yeah, you see it? Harry! Harry! Not Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> this is Harry. He's better than Harry Potter. <laughs> He's gonna have legs of steel. You ready for that, bro? I don't know how to get up this one. No, that's, that's the hardest one out. There it is. <laughs> it was pretty cool checking it out from up here. And we're starting to make our way down, but we wanted to check out right on this edge over here if we can see any views of the city. And eh, a little bit. You can see some of downtown. Oh, bigger steps than you'd think. You jump down, you can feel it in the knees a bit. Oh, and boom. And here we are. Downtown, it's almost uh, sunset already. Surprisingly, the sun goes down so early, like by 5 p.m. here or something like that. So here we go, making our way down. Ah. Here is the view from up top. Oh, this is so picturesque, like the birds flying through the uh, city here. Stunning. All right, thank you very much. Hi, that was a good time exploring. What do you think, bro? That was good. That was good. Yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. On to the next place. All right, guys, I think it's time to get a little Turkish ice cream. It's funny, I've never been to Turkey, but I get Turkish ice cream in like every Middle Eastern country I go to. Hi, we got some Turkish ice cream. We want uh, vanilla. Hi, ice cream. I'm on why? Beer time. Okay. Turkey. 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 Yeah, perfect. I don't know what I like more, the show or the ice cream itself. Oh, oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, 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 Now we get to enjoy it. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love Turkish ice cream. Seriously, so good. Very good ice cream and a great show. But this time uh, they weren't as aggressive as like the Turkish ice cream that I had in Kurdistan and in Dubai. But uh, I won the prize this time. Now I've gotten pretty good at grabbing the ice cream cone that he went through like four or five cones before I actually got it. The first time I got Turkish ice cream, I don't think I touched the cone a single time in the, like the two or three minute show. So mm -mm -mm. we've got a tight fit here. A lot of traffic going on. And oh, we are now on a hunt to find some uh, food here. The whole squad's getting pretty hungry after quite a bit of walking around. Oh, Beirut Hotel. We got a little taste of Lebanon here. I miss my, my lovely Le Lebanon always. And we're crossing here, finding a little way out. Today's Middle Eastern crosswalk is quite easy. You just cruise right through and hopefully find some food here, guys, pretty soon. Cheese guy. I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe not. Depending if it's a red light. Dodgy? All right, well, that's one way to get across. We got Harry leading the pack. You know he's hungry going that level of speed, full speed ahead, bro. Harry's like, hey, easy guys, I'm hungry over here. Yeah. Oh, such a nice temperature here right now. All right, guys, we've been walking for about like 25 minutes right now trying to uh, locate some food. But it sounds like we've got a uh, good recommendation from Kieran. We're climbing up another set of steps. So good news is, is we earn whatever type of shawarmas we eat today or whatever type of food we eat. The nice part is since we've walked so much, we're definitely getting a good feel of the city. Whenever I go to a new city, I always try and spend at least the first couple days doing a lot of walking because it's, you know, it's the best way to 
one, get an idea of what it's like uh, to just kind of like live the daily life in the city, meet the locals, figure out, you know, how friendly people are. And you also just kind of like get a off the beaten path for to some extent tour. Whereas if you just go on like a tour the whole time, they might not just take you to these random alleyways. I'm out of breath though, guys. I'll finish that thought once I get to the top. Streets in Jordan just feel so comfortable to, to walk through. You have your nice, comfortable neighborhoods. Fixtures on top of the uh, street lights are also pretty cool. Yeah, it's really nice and calm. I like Jordan a lot. My first impressions are blown away. Honestly, I don't even know if 10 days will be enough time here. I want to explore so much more. Oh, it's amazing. All right, we just stumbled upon this restaurant and I am already liking the looks of it. Very artsy. We got a little suitcase in there too. So this one's called Ilul Cafe and Restaurant. Hello, hello. Should we go up to the rooftop? All right. Seems like the rooftop seating where most people are at because there was no one on that first level. Looks pretty sweet. Salam alaikum. We have made it. Oh. Cool. That thing got a little sweaty after all that walking. All right, let's see what we've got in here. How's the menu looking, boys? Good, good, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, we've got uh, English and Arabic. That's perfect. Mozzarella sticks, I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it sounds very Jordanian, right? <laughs> and what else we got in here? Juices, ice cream. All right, I think I need to try out a minutia here. The guys just found, they were like, what's manakish? I was like, oh, I know exactly what that is. My favorite food in the Middle East. Kifa, hi. 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 Yeah, shway shway out of it. You guys know what you want? Yeah. Alright, uh, Fiazbak uh, Manusha Jibne Uzatar. Yane cocktail. Yeah, Hamdala. Guess what? Wahid for me. Fiazbak Shai. Shukram Kaye. I missed the reactions, guys, but the lads just uh, had their first experience with here in some of the Middle Eastern countries, rather than like a pop top like you have in the US where it like sticks on the back, this thing just shows and then it comes off like that. I've only seen it in Lebanon, I've seen it in Iraq, and now here in Jordan. They're uh, kind of a cool way to do it. I'm not sure if I like it better or worse. But what have you got? Yeah, I got a little chai right there, bro. Let's try chai. it out. Is that mint? Very classy. Mm. Oh, it's hotter than hell. <laughs> mm. See, even after being in all these Middle Eastern countries, I'm constantly burning my tongue, and I still haven't built up the tolerance to it. That's when you know you've been truly initiated into the culture, and when you can drink tea straight out of the pot. Hopefully, I'll get there one day, inshallah. All right, guys, we had an 80% success with that order. We got the cocktail, but they did it not the Mac way. That's what I've been calling it. They did the uh, zatar on one side and the jibne, the cheese, on the other side. Now we have to do it the way that I learned in Lebanon where you basically toss this one right over there. Uh, thank you, bro. And uh, give it a shot here. So this is my first time actually eating manouche outside of Lebanon. I kind of feel like I'm cheating on Lebanon, especially because when I got back to Lebanon last time, I said, don't worry, I'll never eat manouche outside of the country. But this is calling my name and I need to know if it's good in Jordan too. So here we go. Oh, wow, it's like we never left Lebanon. That is damn good. Mm -mm -mm. That is so good. All right, here we go. Another bite, one more, just to really let those taste buds soak in. Mm -mm -mm. I could eat this for every meal for the rest of my life easily. But I'm especially excited because got the lads here. They're trying out. Harry's digging it, you know. He's, he's, he's obsessed with it. What were your, like, impressions on it? It's like heaven. Unbelievable, yeah, heaven, and exactly, meal. heaven and a meal. And Matt? Uh, I'm thinking I, this is not enough. Oh uh, yeah, he's gonna need, he's gonna need might, some might more. Might have to get another one. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can always do another minutia. Mm. And survey says, <laughs> oh he's digging it, Number one he's answer. digging it. Yeah, yeah. And what do you have over here, the mozzarella sticks? Mozzarella pasta. Oh, yeah, yeah it looks pretty good. You know where they are. It's just like deep fried cheese, man. Oh, you can't go wrong can't with go that. Wrong. Can't go wrong at all. Oh, enjoy, enjoy. So for the four of us to eat, it came out to about 20.6 Jordanian dinar, which is, what would you guys say, like 25 US dollars? Something Roughly? Good. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's pretty good for the lads to uh, enjoy a nice meal. All right, that was a great first Jordanian meal. Shukran Chaye. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it turns out to be pretty nice here at night. They get the lights on. Very festive, very colorful. Very exciting. Delicious first meal. That is where I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video, guys. First impressions overall here in Amman. 
for the first full day. It was incredible. It's uh, really uh, an enjoyable city to walk around, stroll around. As I've mentioned a few times already, the people here are super welcoming. A lot of people speak English. I haven't had any issues in terms of communication. Down here, usually in the cities, in you know, in places that get a lot of tours, and it's common to find a fair amount of English speakers. So happy to hear that. It makes it a little easier to communicate. Definitely going to be exploring a lot more of Amman over the next probably like one to two full days until we move on to the next city in Jordan. So make sure you guys uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you can check out those videos and hit that like button and I will see you guys in the next video.